brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you window regulator replacement. This is a 2003 Honda Civic. This should be the same for any 2001 to 2005 uh, two-door coupe. We show you on the driver's side, passenger side is the same procedure. And for this, you're going to need a new window regulator from 1AAuto.com, small flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet or wrench, and some duct tape to put your water shield back on. 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the negative battery cable terminal, and disconnect the negative battery cable. You start out, there's a screw in here and two screws behind here to get this screw. You pull up on this trap door, right at the top, and pull down to expose two Phillips screws here. And we'll fast forward as I do that. All right, you pry up on the front of this panel, pull it up and out, and on the harness there's a little tab. Press the tab, disconnect, then up on the door handle, pull it out. There's a little clip right here. Push the clip off, pull the rod up and out, and unplug two screws, one here and one here. Remove those. And we'll fast forward as I do that. This top corner trim. Let it hang to the side. And then there are clips that go into the door that you need to release all the way around. So you want to put your fingers in underneath and pull firmly. This door panel has been apart before, so it came apart pretty easily. But you want to release them around the bottom and then up top here and up top here. And then the panel should pull up off the window ledge. And off. There are two plugs that hold your water shield on here. And there's one here. You can see somebody's already ripped the shield around that. You want to avoid doing that. Need those pliers, just grab hold right in the middle. Avoid stretching it or tearing it. Disconnect the lead for your window motor. And first what you want to do is get the little clip out. I'm reaching back in, in behind and pushing down on one of the tabs on the clip and then pull the clip out. You can see there, there's the clip. There's just little, two little tabs that hold it in. And then disconnect the lead push on this button here and disconnect. These cars have a cable style regulator and there's a rail right here and generally what happens is the cable breaks so you hear a popping and then followed by a grinding noise and when you press your power window switch you'll hear your motor trying to work but the window doesn't go anywhere sometimes the window will fall down into the door but generally what you can do is you can lift your window up um, and you'll see two bolts that hold the window regulator to the window right here. 10 millimeter socket, ratchet and extension. And we'll fast forward as I remove those two bolts. Put those bolts out, the window lifts right up and out. Seven bolts hold the regulator to the door. You need to remove these three and then loosen these four. And we'll fast forward while I do that.
need to remove this clip, you could use a pair of pliers or just squeeze it with your fingers, push it back into the door, and push the harness into the door as well. The same thing over here, just get this out of the way, then you can lift your regulator up, and if it doesn't come up, you can just take this bolt the rest of the way out. Lift the window motor up so the bolts go through. The whole thing slides out. The original regulator we took out of the car. One Auto, we sell two versions. We sell a high quality version. It has the same connector, obviously. It has the clip here and the other clip. Japanese made motor. Uh, very high quality, will last you longer than the vehicle. And then we also have our value brand, which is less expensive, doesn't quite have the same details. It's missing the clip here. Um, the motor is just not quite as strong, as high quality as, as the other version, uh, but it's still well made and it'll fix your problem. Okay, reinstall your regulator, feed it in. Hang this bolt up here first, and then reach, push your motor in, and reach in with this hand up into place, and hang that up there. Now we're going to reinstall the three bolts and tighten everything up. And we'll fast forward as I do that. Clip that back in. And then grab your harness, clip it in up here, and reconnect. All right, I've reconnected the battery. I'm just going to turn the key on. Kind of a little test. You can reconnect your switch. You basically want to move the regulator so you can see the mounting holes for the window. You can hear the regulator going. And now I have the bracket in the right spot. Window back in, put the front down in, and then tilt it backwards. Bring the front up, make sure it goes into the weather strip in the front, and make sure it goes correctly into the back, and it slides nice and easy. Put the two bolts back in that mount the window to the regulator. I just load them kind of into the socket first, and then carefully put them in. And if you drop them down, it's pretty easy to reach in there. And we can fast forward as we tighten those up. Okay, battery connected, key on. Just do a quick test with the window in place. Everything's working well. Put your water shield back in place. Pull the harnesses through there. And use your two push clips. One in the front here. We use a little extra duct tape to hold it up. I'm going to take the push clip. I'm just going to kind of pinch the shield in there. 
push the clip in and then secure it around the edges. Make sure this is out of the way. Bring the panel up. Make sure the small harness goes through your door handle hole. And then the larger harness needs to go through for the power windows. And lift it up. Just make sure that the harness for the speaker doesn't get caught. Push it towards the window and down onto the ledge, starting in the front. here it's been put in incorrectly too many times so I have to actually guide it into the hole Fast forward as I do that. Reconnect your power window switch. And then the back goes down in first. And into place. And reconnect your door lock switch. Put the latch rod back in place. around, push it in, put that back in place. You know, just fast forward as we put those fasteners back in place. And then put that trim panel back in place. Put this last screw back in place. Reconnect your negative battery cable and tighten the 10 millimeter wrench. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also, check out our other helpful how to as well as diagnosis videos.